Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another general love reading. Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Scorpios of the world. The sun is shining on you, kiddo. So this is another general love reading, Scorpio, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. I hope this video is finding you guys vibing highly here, Scorpios. I hope you are getting your intentions set. I hope your um all of your wishes are coming true. I hope you are on the right track towards your happiness, Scorpios, because you and only you, Scorpios, you are the magician. You can make it happen, Scorpio. You can make it do what it do for yourself. And so I am just sending you high vibrational energy. I'm hoping that you're good. I hope that you're vibing good. I hope you're protecting yourself. But I hope you're open and available to all of the beautiful things that the universe has for you. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate y'all. This behind the scenes is a relaxing day today. I just didn't feel like girly and up. I just wanted to just relax. I probably... <laughs> Am I the only one trying to figure out what to do with the dressing? <laughs> I'm going to have to start calling around. See if anybody else still wants some more dressing, y'all. Just see, see who's still hungry. I had to start cleaning out my refrigerator, y'all. But anyway, y'all, I'm thankful. I hope you're thankful. I'm thankful for you, Scorpios. I am so thankful for you. I'm just so thankful that you guys are so amazing. I'm so thankful. It's so beautiful when I see your comments in the comments below. So check it out. We're going to tap into your energy. Ooh, it's the overall energy here. So I use this, I'm using this wisdom here, tarot deck, to pull your overall energy before I pull your spread. So let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Scorpios, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I really do appreciate you. Ooh, 10 of Gabrielle. It says, ask your angels for help, for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So some of you Scorpios may be in this 10 of Wands energy where you need to lighten the load and stop overextending yourself here. I'm hearing stop overextending yourself. If they if, if they ain't gonna get it, if if you if they go to Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you guys are overextending yourself financially too, Scorpios. With this page of swords here, you may be for some of you guys, you may be taking care of younger people. You may, your children may be kind of rebelling. You may be having to rescue somebody. Look like somebody having to rescue somebody is what it seemed like here, Scorpio. And it's, it's time to lighten the load here. They got to grow up sometime, God dang it. <laughs> somebody got to leave the nest. I feel like what Spirit is saying, somebody got to, you got to let them, you got to let them fly on their own is what Spirit is saying here. Five of Michael here, five of swords. It says, this situation doesn't serve you, Scorpio. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So as the queen of Raphael, spirit is saying, instead of taking a uh, S on your chest, Scorpio, take a different approach. Maybe you should give advice instead of help. It's almost like maybe... Well, maybe Spirit is saying just detach yourself altogether. If 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 what this is, if if helping other people in whatever way you find yourself helping them, if it is starting to become some type of burden on your life, then Spirit is telling you that it's time for you to lighten the load uh, because only you can make this change. It, look, everybody got to learn their own lessons here. Sometimes we can help people. We can be so caught up trying to make it right for them that we end up Reaping karma for helping other people. Four Pentacles. It says, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions here too. Four of. Oh, so this is a queen of cups. Okay, see? This your overall energy, Scorpio. The queen of cups, the four of cups. Spirit's telling some of y'all, y'all going to have to just let people handle their own stuff. If you got a, 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 a romantic relationship and they're draining you and they're not putting in their efforts, they're not putting in what they're supposed to, Spirit is telling you it's time to, it's, it's, I feel like what Spirit is saying is time to clean house, Scorpio. It's just time to clean house because you may have a lot of petty, immature energy around you, Scorpios. And I feel like Spirit is telling you, don't complain about it. You're the one that's in control. It's time for somebody to start showing somebody some tough love here, Scorpio. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's time for you to start rejecting people, Scorpios, especially if 
If always being the yes person for people is going to cause burdens in your life, spirit say lighten that load and let everybody figure out their own shit. I don't care if it's a romantic relationship, your mama, your kids, your husband, your uh, co-worker, whoever it is. If it's, if it's bringing you a 10 of ones energy Scorpio, then that's not fair. Okay, and like I said, sometimes, you know, as the queen of cups, we, we, you know how we do, Scorpio. We always think that we're doing the right thing because it comes from a good emotional place, but not when it's not reciprocated. And it was done with younger people or children, then they're not never going to learn the lesson because they're going to always feel like mama's going to always say yes. Okay, and when it's dealing with other situations, they may start taking your kindness for weakness. And Spirit is saying it's time to flip the m and and script and let them know that Scorpio ain't, ain't, ain't in the given season of Thanksgiving over with. Okay, <laughs> that's your overall energy. <laughs> It's time to say clink, clink. It's time to close up shop, baby. Let everybody figure out their own stuff is what Spirit is saying. You got the Knight of Ariel. It says trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to be accomplished is what Spirit is telling you. So it's almost like Spirit is saying, Scorpio, don't you get so caught up in making everybody else's dreams come true that you neglect making your own dreams come true. It says, Scorpio, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. See, somebody got their eye on you, Scorpio, but some of y'all got to be in the right energy here uh, in order to receive it. You got the will. Something is turned around in your favor. It says new beginnings, end of delays, because you got the night of, well, that's the night of Pentacles here. So see, you see, th this was slow, but you know what? Somebody's slowly making their way to you, Scorpio. Something's about to turn in your favor here, and they go to Seven of Swords. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. See, because you got somebody coming in to help you. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Six of Raphael's in the reverse, and the Four of Air. All right, but that's your overall energy. I feel like Spirit is telling you, Scorpio, it's time to say clink, clink, and now it's time to, and isn't it amazing that if you're always saying yes and you're always available to people, that they love you the most and that there's no wrong you can do or they feel like, I don't even feel like they feel like there's no wrong you can do. I just feel like sometimes people think you're just dumb and you weak and they think that they're going to get over on you, Scorpio. So I feel like what Spirit is saying, F everybody and focus on yourself for, for a season, okay? And that's to just be, that's to just go point blank, period. Because I mean, and you, and you can't sugarcoat it. Sometimes you can't sugarcoat it. Sometimes you got to be real and frank about it because people will leave you in a position, Scorpios, when you be sitting around here asking and praying for the universe to make a way for you and you beat and gave up all of your gems. On, on swine that, that, that were not supposed to benefit off of that, okay? So it's almost like know when to say yes, know when to say no. Uh, guard yourself because ain't nobody going to look out for Scorpio like Scorpio. See the two of Pentacle. You can have somebody around you um, having some type of money issue. All right, Spirit, let, let's see what's going on in your love life. Spirit, show me Scorpios. What's going on for Scorpios? Let's see. Let's get your spread here. But it seems like y'all need to hold back and something is a burden to you, but I feel like you're going to release it. <laughs> they go to four cups. Cancel Scorpio and Pisces. Why is the four cups here? Four cups. The fool. The Four of Cups, the Fool, Aries, oh snap, the Emperor, Aries, got Aries, Aries, Ace of Wands, oof, They go that wheel of fortune again. Six of Pentacles. The lovers. She can't see that the lovers. Gemini.
Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. My bad. I accidentally sang on my channel. Ooh, I see you, girl. I say, I see you. See you there, Scorpio. That's why you you can. That's why Scorpio, you can afford my love to be stingy. Okay. Yes, you have every right to be stingy with your love because people will try to get over on you, won't they? You be trying to show a person love and show them the light and they're going to try to suck you dry. You know it. Three of Pentacles, some type of partnership, teamwork, a collab, a work opportunity. Two mega bosses here, two people. Libra, Aries, Gemini. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. Underneath the bottom, you got the King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune and the freaking Five of Cups. I see that Ace of Pentacles in the world. Some of y'all are dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have the Fool, the Emperor, the Ace of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Leo, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and we have the Empress with Libra. The Five of Pentacles is sitting here next to the Empress here is the Empress. Somebody may be not feeling like, somebody may be feeling... So obviously there is something, so obviously there is something really going on here. It's almost like this emperor got their own thing going on as it pertains to you. And this empress here has her own thing going on as it pertains to this empress, that this emperor. And little do the two of you know, and I'm happy, do I got my, wait a minute, do I have my one? I know my one is irritating, but it's going to serve its purpose here. Here it is. Voila. So. Like I said, there is something going on with this emperor on their own, and there is something going on with this empress. But little do the both of these two know that you have the will of fortune here between the two of you, okay? So whatever this thing is that's going on between you and this person is spiritual. So let's say this is somebody that you're already involved with. This is somebody here who is not happy without you, Scorpios, okay? Now, check it out, Scorpios. As I said previously, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. But now, if you don't know you're deserving of love and that you are lovable, then, sweetheart, this is not for you, and I hope you heal, okay? I'm so tired of trying to convince Scorpios that you are all of this and that in a whole bag of galactically shit okay yes you are yes you really really are and a lot of times it's gonna take people to really appreciate you to when you leave them alone because maybe you're too powerful maybe you're too intense intensifying here you know how your love is Scorpio so you could have somebody here saying that they ain't tripping trying to convince themselves that they're okay without this Somebody could be trying to convince themselves that they are all right. They're going to be just fine. They are boss. But at the same time, they're only kidding themselves because I feel like this is somebody here who uh, is going to pretty much fall down to their knees for your mercy and just for your attention. Okay. <laughs> yes, they are. Because you have the will of fortune here in the six of pentacles right next to the M and F and ace of wands, not to mention the lovers. So please believe there is something going on between you and this person that words cannot express. Okay. The, the thing that's going on between you and your divine is expression less. This is a spiritual communication. Okay. Y'all communicating telepathically uh, towards each other with how you do things towards the other person. You guys are speaking spiritual language to your spiritual person is what you're doing. And y'all ain't even opened up y'all mouth. <laughs> ain't that something? So I feel like here something is going to change. If somebody really thought that they could withhold uh, the power of love, let alone the power of a Scorpio love, then they are learning something new. And all of their experience, somebody is learning. I feel like somebody is learning that they cannot control what happens. Because I feel like somebody cannot control how they feel about you. 
but I feel like it took some time or it just took what, what was supposed to be because you know, when destiny, karma, divine timing, when the, when spirit, when spirit is involved, when we stop seeing, when it stopped making sense to us, when we stop being able to explain it from our human perspectives and look at it intuitively and spiritually, which is what it is, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, then you will understand it. You will understand that all of the challenges in your life with all your other relationships is just to build you so that you will be firmly planted on your throne in your knowledge and your, in your spiritual evolution. Cause this is what it's about. It's about learning who you are and cultivating it and being the best you in that you can be. And the emperor and the empress, they're the ones. They're the archetype of the relationships. And it seems like these emperors and these emperors, they can't get it together. But it seems like it's more on the end of the masculines more than it is the feminine. Because once again, it's these masculines are listening to their ego and their pride. And the feminines are the ones that's ready to love you. But the feminists are getting tired of it. So now they're, they're forced to hold back love because they don't want to be dogged. So it's almost like here is, here is, it's almost like the gods are watching this. Because with the emperor here and the empress here, Scorpios, this is somebody here before you came down here. Y'all, y'all well known up here. Y'all, y'all high ranking. That's why I don't understand why you don't believe you're all that. You are indeed a, a celestial goddess, Scorpios. That's what you are. And that's who your person is too. And before you came down here, y'all were well talked about. Y'all were high rankings, okay? Because you keep getting the emperor and the empress. And that's the only one you got out here right now. You ain't got no king, queen, none of that. You just got the emperor and that their empress with their will of fortune and their lover's card, okay? So that tells me everything I need to know. And now now, now this, this will right here is calling this emperor to go against what they think they know. And to, and to go for it in spite of what they may be not knowing or, or their ego or their fears or their arrogance or their carnal mind is telling them because deep down inside this will of fortune is telling this emperor that this is their everything, which is you that they're empress. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. So let's clarify these real quick. Then. Okay. Let's see. Page of cups. Will of fortune cancels up your prices. Okay. I already told you. Aries, you got heavy Aries in here. You got air, earth. You have a little water. It's, it's more than it's more than water. It's just like destiny. It's destiny is, 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 is every element of it. It, it. This is why you know that this is a divine connection because you got the will of fortune. Every element comes with this connection. Your emotions, uh, your earthly things, your mentality. Um, your, your passions, your actions, your, your efforts, everything is, is what is the journey of becoming that emperor in life or that empress in life. And it does not mean that your obstacles stop, but it just represents that this is what you're going for in your relationship because you are high quanking, high quanking, <laughs> you high quanking and ranking, honey. <laughs> Scorpius, you are high quanking, ranking, honey. Yes, you are. All right, let's start with this four cups. Why is the four cups here for Scorpios? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Why is the four cups here? You got the four cups next to the fool, next to the emperor here. I feel like six of inspirations here, 10 of emotions, 10 of cups, strength. I feel like this is somebody here who found somebody here who... It's so much like this is what they would have always wanted in their life, Scorpios. Pardon me. Sip of water. But you know what the problem is? This is somebody here who know that they have the ideal person. They know that they have this. But the problem and the dilemma is overcoming their pre, 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 their pre notions, their pre uh wrong thinking, their outdated thinking, their, their demanding ways, their masculine dominating ways here. Okay. Four cups here. Somebody's trying to act like they're not bothered, but they're everything. They're, they are truly bothered, Scorpios. Four cups is the world, the world cosmos here. See now check it out, Scorpios. 
Now that's if that now now look, that's for somebody here who you may have had a past with, okay? Now check it out if this is just one of those moments here where this is a divine thing here where you're the empress and you're about to meet your emperor here. And this could be just what spirit is telling you about this person that's coming into your life. This is somebody here who may live across the seas. For some of you guys here, this is somebody here. Ooh, Scorpio, you're going to start. You go, you're about to meet this person because there go the three of emotions here. Four of Cups, so you're meeting an emperor here, Scorpio, who is ready for love because they're not happy being alone anymore. Okay? So this is why, ooh, Scorpio, this is so sweet. Oh, my gosh. See, Scorpios. Don't you know that, that the universe already has someone for you here who is yearning for love? Check it out, Scorpio. Remember all those times you didn't gave somebody your love and it was never reciprocated? I'm talking about all of that love. This is somebody here who could really use your love because they're ready to love you the same way. The love you give to this one, Scorpio, they're going to match you because they're looking for love, Scorpios. Wow. This is somebody here who has everything but love, but they're right one. And they don't want just anybody because they are somebody as the emperor and somebody going to see your worth when they see you and you ain't got to say a word. They're going to know because they're going to be a man of good character and a man of great wisdom. Okay. So they ain't going to try to hump you, baby. They're going to try to see, see who your mama is and things. And, and somebody want to see well, what makes you smile and uh, uh, what, what makes you happy. See, Nine of Pentacles here. See, this is a single person, but this is a single person here who is lonely. Like I said, they got it going on, but they ain't got the right one on their arm, baby. That's all they need is some sweetness. I say they need you, Scorpios. They do. All they need is that sweet old feminine thing over there is what Spirit is saying here. See? Oh, Scorpio, they go to Sun card. This, this person looking for some happiness. <laughs> Oh my God, Scorpio, this person looking for happiness, see? This emperor is looking for happiness, see? Ooh, see that? Did not tell this person looking for happiness. Ten of Pentacles, ten of material, and the sun card, see? This what they looking for with this food card. They ready. Somebody is ready. They are ready for love. They ready for some Scorpio love, Scorpio. Yes, they are because this person is awakening here. See, somebody's going. So you're about to meet somebody here who is going through a major awakening in their life, baby. You got fresh meat. I said, attention, Scorpio. Spirit is sending you fresh meat, honey. This is somebody here who has not been out there per se, not in no committed way here. But this is somebody here who has just been transformed because they've just been through a major spiritual cleansing here. So now this is somebody here who is in, enlightened and now they're ready. And the only thing that's missing in their life, see, four pinnacles. This person is wanting to build something stable and solid with somebody here, Scorpios. And that's your emperor. That, that, that's who doing it. This emperor, because you're the empress. What's up with this emperor? Aries energy, Aries energy, the four ten of pinnacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, the sun card, baby, the uh, Leo energy, the nine of Pentacles. This is somebody here who has everything of uh, uh, earthly that they could ever want, but they're still not happy though. See, because all of the people in their life so far ain't, ain't got their attention. They, they like, I don't know what's in that goddamn cup. You must be crazy. <laughs> why, why you going to come bring me your cup to drink? I ain't even see you rinse that cup out with bleach. <laughs> But they're going to see the purity in you. See that? Now, what's up with this emperor for Scorpios? The emperor spirit. What's going on with this person as it pertains to Scorpio? Now, it could be you masculines. Take a half fit. I'm not going to tell you where you fit in this reading. You figure that out. What you need to know that this is a general love reading for Scorpios. If it resonates, then you're going to know where you fit in, if at all. Okay? All right. The emperor. Because you got the emperor and the empress, baby. You can't win. You can't lose. You cannot lose. Somebody going, this person's going through a major awakening. This person has been through one. All right, the emperor here. Ooh, like I said, ten of voices, but that's coming up in the reverse. Ten of swords. Uh-oh. 
So this was somebody had an issue here. Six of inspirations, ten of emotions here. But like I say, this person is overcoming their their issues here. Because they go to they go to ten of you got the three of cups, three of emotions, ten of emotions here. Six of inspiration, six of one. See, this is somebody here who I feel like has not been in the dating game very long, Scorpios. I feel like this is all new to this person here. See, Scorpio, you ha you'd be surprised at how these how scary these masculines are when it comes. Now they ain't scared to you know play around with you, the King of Wands, you know the Bachelor energy, you know Passion and Knight of Wands energy. But when it comes to making those real life changing situations of 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 marriage and commitments, ooh, if they've ever experienced anything in their life toxic before in the past, they're gonna be scared. But I feel like this person has did the work. This person has been going through a lot of spiritual changes here, Scorpio. So this person is ready for love. Like I say, this is somebody here who is successful in every other area of their life. But when it comes to relationships, they're alone and they're lonely and they're looking for the right relationship. So now you got the six of pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is the merchant being generous. I feel like this is uh, some gifts coming your way. I feel like the reason why you somebody's coming into your life, Scorpios, to give to you, to spoil you, so to speak, to make you a priority is because some of you guys have always been the one that's always been given and people take advantage of you, Scorpios, and put their burdens on you where you feel like you feel bad. You know, it, it should never be that way where you feel like you're being used because you're being loving to a person in this queen of cups energy. It says kind, understanding, giving, psychic. And see what people don't understand about Scorpio is that Scorpio naturally, that's in Scorpio's energy to give. But please believe Scorpio is going to peep out the BS that comes with them giving to you if it's not well reciprocated because they're also psychic. So when Scorpio says follow your heart, see that that's, that's a lot of times how it's got Scorpio burdened down. It's following their heart here. So now I feel like spirit is telling some of you Scorpios to hold back from situations for a season or indefinitely, honey, especially if you, if you're not getting anything back out of it and know it's not about giving so that you can receive, but you don't want to be used because that's not fair. Now, if you really are a loving, giving person, then that's what you expect back from people. But because maybe, maybe all the times you did not get it back. I feel like this is why you're going to have somebody come in to you. See the page of swords. This could very well be this person that's looking at you. See, this, this could be the person. Because remember, it says. Four of Pentacles, where it says, follow the heart. A love of home. Two heart. Okay, where's that other one? Five of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. See, the Queen of Cups says, kind, understanding, giving, psychic, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy, psychic information here. See, it's almost like Scorpio know when you be using them anyway, but, but because they be so loving, they be going against the grain anyway, and they be the ones that come up short. But this is what Spirit is saying. It says, wait a minute. It says, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. I feel like somebody's coming your way. Now, I saw three of cups, nine of pentacles, not ten of pentacles, the sun, the four of pentacles. So, like I said, this could be somebody here who is going to proposition you. It could be somebody that you work with. If this is somebody that you already have a history with. See, you could be meeting somebody here, Scorpio, when you're done giving to people. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the five of pentacles, the empress and the lovers. You could be saying, no, nope, because I'm tired of giving and always feeling left out. So I'm leaving everybody out. This could be, you could be at your wits ends with giving now. So this is why timing is here divine that something's going to change so if you were always the giver it's time for you scorpio to receive all right six of pentacles for scorpios six of pentacles 
They go to six of wands here. They go rewards, victory, success. I know there's five of wands. Oof. Five of wands. Five of inspirations here. Oh, like I say, whatever conflict you've been going through, Scorpio, you're about to get it back. They go to ace of wands. Oof. You may have had conflict with how you were giving here, Scorpios, and you may have detached emotionally because there go the Eight of Cups. But this is what I see you doing. For some of you guys, you're detaching emotionally because you're tired of getting used and taken advantage of. But you don't know you got a whole new beginning and an opportunity here for you. You got the Ace of Wands twice. So you got something beautiful and amazing here coming to you. But like I say, some of you may be at the point of you like, look, I'm so tired now. I don't know who to trust. <laughs> Can you sign this contract before I trust you? But you got the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this, this is why I'm telling you, it, it's, the, it's time for you to reap, Scorpio. It's time for you to receive. This is, this is your time, Scorpios. All right, give me one more card for the Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups for Scorpios. Y'all probably like, screw this. See the Hierophant. I feel like this is what some of y'all doing, Scorpio. Y'all, y'all may be trying to pull back from relationships that are not giving or you're not as open and available to them. You may be saying no. I feel like they may be getting a kind of resistance, Scorpios here. Yeah, yeah you loving and you, you got all this love, but it's almost like you're taking safer approaches now. And if it's people from your past, they don't like it, but they can't do nothing about it. Some of you guys are really disconnecting from family, children, old lovers, old friends. That All they were doing to use and taking, that's what I feel like you're doing. So this is why it's time for you to receive. It's time for you to receive. But you got to be in a position to receive it, especially if you're, um, if you're, you may be blocking people and, and taking folks to F off. Huh? Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Will of Fortune. Four one, see, there go their commitment. There go their harmony. Their harmony is being restored back, see? And I feel like this could be something that you're manifesting here because there go the magician card. Pisces energy. See, I feel like this is something you guys are manifesting here. See, there go the page of cups. Page of cups here. I feel like you got this person here. That's about to, this emperor is about to make a move. See, something is changing in your favor. It's almost like, wow, Scorpio, this is what I feel like. Whatever you are going through in your, when you, in your personal life, Scorpios, where you're feeling, whatever you're feeling, you're feeling like people are taking advantage of you or not, is not being reciprocated. The universe is sending you the same, sending you the exact person that's going to do the opposite for you. They're going to give to you. It's almost like they're coming to you for the sole purpose to sow into you. This is somebody here who has not been doing those things. But like, I feel like somebody may have focused more on their life, their livelihood, their career, their job, their business, other things, other than relationships. I'm not saying that they were not dating, but it was nothing serious. But this is somebody here who was clearly ready to fall in love and settle down. Yes, I know I say that all the time because that's what the heck is coming out. I'm just saying, God dang. I'm just saying, but you you can have a whole world full of people that's ready for love, but guess what? You got half of the half of the people that's ready for love are damaged. They need to heal, okay? Because they're gonna they're not gonna trust it. And this person could confess their love and they could do this and do that. And if this person's not emotionally healed, then they're not gonna they're, they're gonna abuse it, okay? So this is why spirit, you got the empress here. I feel like you gotta still be open for something better if you want it, because it's here for you. Something is here for you. You're going to get a message from this person or you're about to meet this person. Here, Scorpios. One more card for the will of fortune. And this is, this is karma. This is what you have sown. This is what you have agreed to do. This is what you have agreed to do before you came down here. Seven of cups here. But the challenge is that it's going to be a lot of confusing and you still have to decide what you want in spite of that. <laughs> you still going to have to decide what you want to do with this relationship. See, because they go to Ace of Cups, see? Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups. So for some of y'all, like I say, this is a contract that you got with this person past life here because they go to freaking wheel again. I told you, see? <laughs> I told you that's what it's about. 
Because guess what? If you don't complete it or make it right with this one, you're going to run into the same type of energy that you were dealing with the same one, Scorpio. It's all about the karmic will and what we learn, our lessons here. They're only tests. That's all they are. And this is another test. And guess what? If y'all can do it right, y'all get to be happy. That's what I see with each other is what I'm saying. And y'all get to live the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles type of lifestyles. What I see. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ace of Wands. It's the fool. They go that fool card. I know they ass is going to take a leap of faith. God dang it. Shoot. Man, it's about to be cold too. <laughs> see? They go. See? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Material. Ace of Material is the Ace of the Earth, baby. Ooh, you know why, Scorpio? See, because of the two of the emotions, the two of cups. See? Ooh, there they go. You already know it because you got the emperor and the empress. And there go that six of pentacles again. They want to see, like I said, this, this is somebody here who wants to do all the things that lovers do. You ain't got to tell them how to love you, baby. They already know how. They just needed to be ready. Just like you have to be ready. Some of y'all better be ready for this. Now you got the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Why is the five of pentacles here for Scorpios? Page of wands here. I feel like death. High priestess. Woof. Justice. <laughs> Three of material, this relationship is about to bring you back to balance, Scorpios. You're only going through another major transformation in your life, Scorpio. This is what you're going through, but this is one of the major transformations you could ever go through in your relationships because you're dealing with the emperor and the empress, honey, and their will of fortune twice, as well as the lovers <coughs> and the two of cups. So death card represents to me with this page of inspirations is Whatever this person is going to do to you or say to you, it, th this person, which is how it's supposed to be, the feminine balances her masculine. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. My mouth is dry because I've been talking. Hold on. Ooh, not to mention, I got stuck out in the rain. I got stuck out in the rain the other night and it was so cold, but I didn't care. I was so happy to be out. Did y'all see that moon the other night, Scorpios? It was just so amazing and so, so mysterious. This is so mysterious. It's, it's mysterious in the way that something spiritual is taking place within life, within every aspect of our beings, especially through these connections here, especially through these connections here. So this is the type of person here. Like I say, the masculine act accentuates their feminine and the feminine balances out her masculine. This masculine is going to be the one that's going to turn your heart back open, Scorpios. They're going to compel you to open up to them because they, they know how to get you, honey. This your masculine. Anytime you got you a person that's in their power here, that's full of wisdom here, and they know what they want, then they're, they're going to help you to do better. And that's all you need is somebody here to let you know that everything is okay and that you can trust them and that things are going to be fair between the two of you. With the justice card, could be a Libra here. See three of Pentacles. This person with the two of Cups is a partnership. The the card you got you got the you got the awakening card, which is judgment card. You have justice here. You have the two of Cups. You have the lovers here. You have the world. You guys are each other's world, whether you know it or not. This is you two having this experience, and it's just you two. It ain't nobody else in this relationship. It's just you two doing this. And y'all trying to figure out how to get back to each other the right way. This is your relationship right here, Scorpios. You can have this because you got the magician card. So Spirit wants you to know you and your divine masculine, your divine feminine, that y'all can have this happily ever after. You can have this quote unquote type of happily, happy ending lifestyle here on this experience because it ain't real anyway. But if, but, but you as the magician can speak it into your, your timeline, you can, you can experience happiness here. 
because y'all already agreed upon y'all just and forgot you see, you see the familiarity now if this is someone new you're gonna feel this 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 the deja vu energy again you're gonna feel like you've known this person by looking in their eyes by their energy you're gonna feel this familiar energy and the reason why they're gonna always feel familiar is because you already know them you already know. So now you have the Empress Libra energy, Taurus energy. What's up with this Empress? Nine of swords, somebody in their head, nine of voices. You got them voices. Somebody's talking here. <sighs> Strength card, materials, five of material, five, nine of one, C. I feel like this person here, now this could be you, Scorpio. I feel like this is some of you guys. You don't, you know, you some of you guys may not know that you are. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use this example. Now I had a I had a home guy that I dated him years and years and years ago. I'm talking about maybe 20 years ago, okay? So we recently got back into each other in contact now in a cross watch is a mind you call yourself crushing on me don't get in your feelings because i'm single and i'm telling my story to help my scorpios out please don't come for me about nothing i do because my life ain't got nothing to do with nobody but me okay i'm just saying that that's a fyi but anyway you know he he liked to try to hug and i ain't seen this guy 20 some years you know we got back and he a leo by the way and you know how that leo and scorpio thing but but check it out y'all i think i'm five or six years older <laughs> than him okay but he has this, this problem of always thinking that he can touch me. I mean, it ain't no, it ain't no real disrespectful way, but maybe I don't want you touching me. Am I wrong? Because I don't want you touching me. I mean, what we had is what we had. It was, I wasn't even the same person back then. You wasn't either. No, we don't get to pick up where we left. Oh, well, look at all the changes we both have been through in life, but so he wanted to come back here. I still had some drinks. So, you know, it was Sunday, which, which happened today. And so uh, I know he do this because he want to have his way or he want to control me some type of way. But <laughs> it's almost like, how dare you feel like you can just come in my life and, and then you snap your finger at me. And, you know, I'm a grown, I'm a whole goddamn grand, grandmother. But he just kept on going on and on and on about how mean I was, y'all. And I invited him in my house. And this was a friend. And I don't need you to say it. I'm just sharing my story. Just follow with me. And, you know, he's harmless. You know, I I know him enough that I know, you know, we'd hung out before. But as friends. I'm talking about recently since I ran back into him. But I always have to cut him off or something. Because he just won't, don't, he, he would not stay in his place. You, you cannot put yourself in a position that I have not invited you in. God dang, I ain't seen you. And maybe I don't want you now like that, you know, and that's where I'm at. But anyway, okay, I'm just telling you this. So anyway, he just kept on, he just kept on talking about how mean I was. Y'all, when he got through, and he was really serious. And the reason why he was serious, because when he first came over, he asked for a hug and I told him I didn't want to hug him. <laughs> I didn't want to hug him because I didn't want him to hug. I just didn't want to, look, y'all, he one of those ones who's going to try to hug you too long, like like you starting to feel something and you ain't you ain't feeling nothing. I was I was trying to church hug him, you know, sideways, you know, j j just sh just hug him with a hand, kind of like a, you know, a friend, a homie, something like that. You know, somebody that I care about, I wouldn't want to see nothing happen to you, but I ain't, you're not my person like this. So, so I told him no. So we ended up sitting down and talking, but he began to tell me how mean I was. And he dug into me. He kept on telling me. He said, he went on to say that I was so mean. He was kind of laughing because he was kind of laughing, but he just kept on saying, you so mean. And, and I kind of laughed at all, but he just, I guess he took that as a sign to keep on going. And he just kept on talking about how horrible of mean I was to him, that I was a freaking witch. I was so mean. <sighs> Scorpio, don't you know I started crying? <laughs> That just hurt my feelings so, y'all, because he was so busy trying to convince me that I was a bad person because I wouldn't let him have his way with me. And it just hurt my feelings because I had to pretty much check him to let him know that he was disrespecting me because he was a guest in my home. And because I didn't want you to hug me didn't mean that I was mean. I don't want you trying to grab on my ass because I ain't feeling that. But we squashed that eventually because he ended up apologizing. So when he finally did get ready to leave and I thought we had made peace, he asked for a hug. And I'm thinking a harmless hug. 
He tried it again, Scorpios. And so I had to hit below the belt and I had to say some things to him that I know offended him. But my point to everything, and look, if you don't want to hear me talk, please click off my channel because this ain't about you. It's about me and my Scorpios who I'm really trying to help by making a point. My point is, you already know what is for you intuitively. You already know. See, this is what comes back to this. People think that just because you're so loving and gentle that you don't know what the hell going on, but you always know. You just, because, because you are so loving, you try to give people the benefit of the doubt and it never fails. It, they always show their true, true intentions. So he kept on trying to hug on me and I damn near had to kick him. I had, damn near had to shove him out my door and I had to say some words that I know tore him up and, and I'm just done with that. But the point is you cannot, people cannot force themselves on you in any kind of way here. So it seems like some of y'all going to be blocking this. I'm saying all that. I ain't saying that because of me because I'm good, but I'm just saying you got the freaking empress here with the nine of swords here. If this is somebody here who you've already given a chance, then I feel like, they're going to they're gonna really have to put in their work to show you otherwise because people are tired of people taking their kindness for weakness, uh, you know, not being reciprocated here and feeling self-entitled. How dare people feeling self-entitled to something that, that they put no work in? And you got the Muse of Pentacles here. So this could be the Page of Pentacles here. See? Queen of Emotions. See, they want that love. I told you this is what they're going to do. And see, what it, what, it, what it realized to me, and I'm just telling you about me, is that he did not have what it take to be with me, Scorpio. I see where he done went through a lot of things. He, he didn't got older too, God dang it. He 46. He was like in his late, it was about, it was a long time ago, but I'm just saying we're both getting older, but don't come over here acting like you still a roaring. <laughs> Why are you trying to convince me you the shit? Why you flex on me and my shit? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Nah, we ain't going to do that. So uh, yeah, I had to, I had to, uh, uh, make him uh, tuck that tail between his legs and kick them rocks, Scorpio. But see, Scorpio, but this particular person, it could be somebody that you know or somebody that you don't know. And if somebody from your past did you wrong, this new person is going to be the one that has to pay for it. But it's the new person going to be the one that's going to bring you out of that because they're going to open your heart back up. You're going to try, you're going to try to push them away, Scorpios, because you may not be in the mood. You may feel like everybody's going to tell you the same thing. Everybody doing the same old BS, but there is somebody good specifically for you. Okay. Don't let nobody keep you from still being that queen of cups that you are. Don't, don't, don't push it away. Just be more selective. And even then you're still taking a chance. Cause like, I didn't know he was going to come in here and just keep on. Be and, and I get it. He's mad at me cause I don't want him. And that's the bottom line. But damn, why you got to belittle me? That ain't going to make me want you. It's going to make me not fuck with you. Oh, my, I'm just saying. <laughs> I said, oh snap. <laughs> it must be the stinger. <laughs> Anyway, you got the lover's card. Your last card could be a Gemini. <laughs> oh, Scorpio just amazes me. I mean, who wants somebody else burden? Don't nobody want nobody else burden. I see it. Ten of Wands. And I know it ain't just me. Because that shit just happened. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Somebody may be heavily guarded. I'm just saying now, either you're going to be heavily guarded or this person coming to you is going to let you know, girl, I don't care about what you're saying. You can't run me off. I understand, but I ain't them. You can't charge me for what they did. I'm not to give, give me a chance. See? Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Some of y'all going to be feisty as F with this person. You're going to be very feisty here, but they're going to love that about you, Scorpio. See there? <laughs> this person ain't going to, this person going to laugh at you. Nine of emotions, nine of cups. This is somebody here, Scorpio. See, page of voices that go to page of swords. This is somebody here who studies you and see their Scorpios. This person ain't going to leave you alone and they're going to freaking empress again. They didn't already made up their mind that you're going to be the one. So yeah, you're going to fight this person off a little bit, but I'm not even going to say fight them off. I just feel like you're going to be really, really guarded here because you have a lot to protect. You have you to protect and that's more valuable than any earthly thing. I get it because you got the queen of cups here. And it really don't even matter about you trying to guard yourself because when the right one come and when it's time with that will of fortune, it's just that it's just that 
it's going to take the right one. And I feel like in this particular situation, Scorpio, the right one is coming. So you're not going to have to be worried. You're not going to have to worry about anybody taking advantage of you or doing anything that's not fair. You're about to get justice. You're going to get the same love. Whatever you give, Scorpio, the relationship that's coming your way is going to match you or if not more. I feel like they're going to do more because you do got the uh, Six of Pentacles here. See, they come in Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody here slowly making their way to you here, Scorpio. But spirits say don't listen to negativity. Don't judge a book by its cover. Let this person, whoever this person, they're going to prove themselves anyway because they are boss. And all of this hesitation, you're going to show this person because you're guarding yourself. This is going to be right up there at it because then they're going to know that they made the right decision about you, Scorpios. All right, Scorpios, pardon my talking, honey, but this is my channel. I love you guys so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, Scorpios.